All right, we're back with today's countdown to Rio. We are exactly six months from the opening ceremony of the Summer Olympic Games. Try Team USA hopefuls are in training all across the country. Tamron headed to the famous Coroli Ranch in Texas and caught up with one of the country's most coveted group of athletes, the U.S. women's gymnastics team. women's gymnastics team made history winning a third consecutive all-around title at the 2015 World Championships. Now the focus has shifted to Rio. Back to Rio in the Olympics next August. Very exciting time. How many months until Rio? Six. <laughs> Seven. It was just like 200 days. Six? Six. It's like 196 days. Has anyone had a dream about Rhea? Oh, all the time. All the, yeah. Oh, go on. Sometimes they're like night, like sometimes I have a dream, I like fall and I wake up, I'm like sweating. It's not a dream. Yeah, yeah, it's not a good dream. So you're having Rio night sweats? Oh, yeah. The girls train separately most of the year, but every so often, they come together as a team at the secluded training center, simply known as The Ranch. So is there a certain greeting after a long period of time away? Oh, yeah. What's the greeting? Um, is it a secret handshake? Yeah. <laughs> no, we just run up and hug each other and just catch up and just kind of, kind of like a family bond. Gabby Douglas blew away the field in London, taking gold in both the team and individual all around. But there was speculation she might not defend her title. And there was some question as to whether or not you were going to come back this time around. Tell me about that time period. I think a lot of people thought I was like faking my comeback, which I wasn't, because I'm that type of person that just, um, you know, when I want something, I go after it. Were you ever questioning yourself? <laughs> Not really. I remember after 2012, I was like, I definitely want to do this again. Like, I never thought about retiring or, um, you know, giving up the sport of gymnastics because, I don't know, I was just so young and I wanted to continue. As all-around world champ the past three years, Simone Biles still can't believe her Olympic dreams may soon come true. Simone, I think if I recall correctly, you were in a gym watching them and not even sure if you could make it to this point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's that story? Um, well, whenever they were competing at the Olympics, we were in the gym and we had it like projected onto the wall. Um, and so I was watching them and I was like, oh my gosh, like what if one day I got to compete at the Olympics? But I mean, I was young and I didn't think it would actually be possible. Veteran Allie Raisman still basks in the glory of winning two gold medals in London. After we won, we were just like on cloud nine, but it was like, I have so many great memories from that trip, it was amazing. And really, she punched her ticket to Glasgow with that great routine. Maddie, tell me about this, let me make sure I got it right, four-way tie for the gold <laughs> in the uneven bars. It definitely pushes me because you want to have that medal to yourself, but I think overall I did the best that I can and I got the gold medal that I wanted. Oh, mm -hmm. Michaela, tell me about, you know, it's, it's a team sport, but it's also an individual sport. How do you balance that? We still all cheer each other on, you know, even if you're a team or individual, you still hope the best for everyone and you hope the best for Team USA. They're working hard, by the way. Yeah, exactly. The team will actually be chosen after the trials in July, so it's work, work, work until then. Six months yeah. from today. I know. Wow, wow, that's crazy.